This video is published by mbkpinternational.com. In this video, we're going to talk about changing the capacitor on the Guillotine XPC19 Pro. And this would also be for the EC19 Pro V2 or version 2. And basically, it's the capacitor for your clamp motor. And this would be something if your clamp here goes down, gets stuck, and doesn't come back up, or even if it gets potentially stuck in the top position too and doesn't want to start, doesn't want to go down initially. So the first thing you want to do is you want to unplug your cutter from power. Take around and just completely unplug it. Even with it's turned off, there's still power going through it. So you want to unplug it. And then you're going to remove this um this um, plate here. It's basically your electronics compartment cover. You just need a Phillips screwdriver. I've, I've already removed it to make this faster. It may be easier with a short screwdriver for this one right here and even the, these two, but just be careful that there's a sharp blade there. Because of the angle, you'd have to, because this gets in the way, so it would be a sharp angle to get that out. You can still do it, but if you don't got a short one and you can't get it with it with a regular long screwdriver, you'll have to take this crown off, and there's just two screws on each side, and it just pulls off. And there's just a, there is one cable from this that plugs in. You'd have to unplug it and plug it back in. But um, typically, you can do this leaving the crown on. So anyway, I've already removed the screws. Slide this forward, set it to the side. And this is the um, capacitor right here. That black box. Sometimes there's two of them because there was a time when they had um, they're supposed to have around 30 UF or micro farads. Um, so sometimes they, there was a shortage on at one point, and they started using two to, to combine the power, like a, a 12 and a 20 or something like that. But the, what we typically use what 130, 130 micro farads. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and remove this here. A lot of times it's easier just to slide this out of the way and get this um get this um top out of the way. And you can pull the wires out of the channel a little easier. And all I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna clip, I'm gonna take these off. This, these two here, the nine and eight. So you just loosen these a little bit off the main board here and just remove them. Okay, and then you'll see that there'll be two wires going here, going that way to the clamp motor, which is up under the crown, and then you got the two wires going to this. So basically all I'm going to do is clip these two wires. What's that one right there? Just that wire right there. Don't clip the other one. And I'm going to clip the wire on this one as close as I can without affecting the other wire. Okay, and that's all I'm going to do. Sometimes these are stuck with some double-sided stick tape. You can you can just pull them out pretty easy though. But again, if there is two, sometimes they're separate. Like if there's two, there will usually be one connected to these wires, and the other one would just be separate and it can come out. Once you take the screws, it could just come out on its own and, and just, just remove it. So get rid of both of them if there's two. Usually there's just one, and sometimes they're separate and sometimes they're connected to this. If they are connected to this, again, you just clip them off like I just did with some clippers, and then, then we can put them back in without it. If you need to, if the wire is still exposed, then where you cut it, you can wrap some electrical tape around it to just to cover that wire. But typically, you wouldn't need to do that either, as long as that wire, as long as you cut it close and don't and don't cut this other wire. Just be careful not to cut the other wire. Only cut the wire to the that you're taking off the capacitor. Okay, now I'm gonna um, just put this um, 31 in. Pretty simple. It doesn't seem to matter which way they go, although they typically always have. This facing that way that with this this notch back and this one going to the nine and this one going to the eight that's the way they typically put them on so I'm gonna put it on that way but I've tried it both ways crossed them it doesn't seem to matter which way they go but I would just recommend putting them on the same way the other one came off and that's typically with the writing on it facing the board the one further that way goes to the post further this way or the nine post and this this one would go to the eight post so I'm just going to get those back on. It's pretty simple. You'll probably have to back these off just a little bit more to give it a little more room for both of them. Because now you're going to have to two of these under here. You may have had two before. It just depends on whether they put multiple in. On this, usually on these things, there's usually a, a, a side that's flatter right here. And that would be a, a drop down. So I'm going to flip it over like this. I'm going to put it on like that on the flat side. Because you got another one coming in on the top. It'd be It's easier this way. Than, if you got it this way, it's a further down drop to get it in there. It's not too big of a difference, but there is a small difference, so I'm going to go ahead and put it on that way. And let's go with number eight first. Again, let's see, that way right there. Just get it under the, completely under the plate and the screw.
And then we'll go with number eight and just slide it in there too. But again, you, it might be easier to back it off a little more just to get them both under there. And then tighten it, snug tight it down. A good snug tight. And we'll go with this one here. Again, I want to get the flat part up. That's in. And then number nine to the nine post. Nine will go on the end. You want to get them both under. Make sure you're not clamping down on any plastic on this stuff or anything. Make sure it's clamping down on metal on both of them. Nice and snug tight. And that's pretty much it. That's all you need to do. You can lay. These are kind of sometimes kind of short, so you can lay it flat. You can lay it flat on, on its face there if you need to. And then just kind of feed these wires back into the channel. You can feed these out the back of the channel if you need to, like so. And this, this just pushes down and clips into place. Just like that. It's pretty easy. You're just basically removing one or two, depending if they have two. Because we'll typically send you a 30 one. Sometimes 27 is enough, but we'll typically send you a 30 one. And 30, you don't want to get too much on there, so because it could burn out your clamp motor. 30 is about right for it. So we're just going to have the one now and just replace it. That's pretty much it. You're going to put the, plate, the table back on. I'll see what these, um, these indentions are so for the screws to go in. If you do it the other way, it'd be upside down. You can kind of tell the difference. Just slide this back into place. A lot of times you got to lift it up a little bit to get it with this lip here. There you go. And you may have to, if you have to loosen your crown, take, I've got the screws off the side so it kind of comes up easy. You have to take the screws off the sides to, so you can lift it up to slide it under this or it might be kind of tight going under it if you don't. So. So if you can't get it under it easy, you can loosen, take those two screws off the side so you can just lift this up slightly and slide it in there. But um, then you're just going to basically put the six screws back on. There's six of them. And I like to just start each one, and each one should go in nice and easy. There shouldn't, you shouldn't, because if it's going in tough, you know, you need to shift this around a little bit and line it. Because usually there's a little play in this thing, back and forth, front to back, to l help line up the holes. You want to get all the holes lined. You want to get them started, not tighten it down, that way you can and just keep going, just start them all a few turns. You just don't tighten any of them down until you get them all started. That way you can, if a hole doesn't quite line up, you got, you got a little movement in this plate, you can should, you can line it up and get, the, get it started. But they should go in easy. If they're going hard, you're cross-threading it and you don't want to cross-thread it. So just go in all of them nice and easy. Once you get, I'll stop there, but once you get all six in, then you can tighten them all down. And that's basically it. This video was published by mbkpinternational.com.